Hey, do you want to take a boring video and turn it into something fun? Whether it's a video or a photo, it really doesn't matter. I'm just using a photo for this tutorial, but you can use a video. So let's grab another clip and place this onto the overlay. And what we're going to do is we're going to blend these two together. So right now, all I can see is the sky. So what I want to do, I want to blend it. So double click, blending, and I'm going to go for gray key. Let's have a look at multiply. I think multiply does a better job, maybe. No, I think gray key is the one we really want to go with. So yeah, right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure that we can see more of this detail. And that's done very simple by putting on a mask. So double click on the mask, launch the mask, and we're going to use the lasso tool. And we're just going to quickly, roughly, there we go, roughly make an outline of the building tops only. So let's speed this up. And then press OK. So what we'll have now is let's just reset this, refit this to the screen. So now we have a nice blue sky in the background and the buildings are also nice and clear. From here, what I just did is just tweak the photo a little bit more to the, the desired look that I was after. So I dropped Dual Booster onto the track layer, which is the one here on number three. And then I also used the Detail Enhancer, and I also dropped it on there. And it just pops it out. Now, this is a personal taste, so tweak it the way you want. I'm going for that grunge look, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So the next thing we need to do is then create our character. There are three options I can give you to actually create your character. One, you just take all your pictures and then use a website like Remove BG. A second option could be simply using Photoshop or the free version GIMP and then import that into Video Studio. Or we could just grab a green screen, directly import that into Corel Video Studio and then just use the chroma key to get the job done. Let's fix this up so it looks nice and pretty and let's jack up the tolerance a little bit. Yeah, look at that, looking good. And I'll bring the borders in and voila, I've also now created my character within Corel Video Studio. Look at this guy. He's just, <laughs> he's such a clown. Anyway, let's get moving. So what we did then is we take the original photo back into the project. Let's just stretch it out to the desired length. Let's say you want to run that whole entire intro for eight seconds. And then you just grab the photos that you want to use into your project. And obviously this photo is too big, so you have to rescale that like so and then place it accordingly. Now, I'm not sure if that is actually into scale or the proportions are right. So I want to make sure is keep the aspect ratio. So it was a bit skewed. Oh, didn't want to do that. Let's just bring this in. And then obviously you need to then customize the way it comes on and off. Now, what I will show you something else is if you have issues with different size photos and you want them all to be the same, you can use copy and all the attributes and it will copy it. But you may still have an issue with the placement. So you there, you do have a second option here. Did I say second or section? <laughs> is Then you can use these grid lines and what they'll do, they'll snap to the grid as well. So let's go here and if I want to, see how it snaps to the grid? And that's another way you can make sure that it's everything is neat and tidy. From here, I just built a sequence on how I want it to come across. So this was not the first video clip that I used. I actually used another one. I think it was this one here. So I also did a little cheat. What I did, I put it underneath the first one and then I could easily scale it. Now I can do say a copy and paste, copy attributes and then paste all attributes. And it gives me a very close to what I want, but you can see the scale of this head and that head is slightly off. And what I did by just placing it next to each other it looks more convincing or more realistic. And then I just snapped it back into place. And then I brought this clip actually forward and then put this one in here. And I gave it about a one second screen time, like so. So as it moves, as it plays, you can see bop, bop, like that. Also in the first clip, I also created a custom motion. So how do I want this to come onto the screen? And that's again, I just use the custom motion. And this is how I built basically the timeline. So I'm just going to move this back. 
and that should be fine press ok and then i should be able to see that one slide on like so yep so i can obviously slow that down that was a bit too fast play with the controls and i just kept building it up as i went along just keep doing this thing over and over again and i can do it again paste all attributes drop it underneath the timeline and then basically see if it's in line there you go and there you go it's realistically that simple and you can have a lot of fun and be very creative coming up with some really cool ideas and there you have it so if you want to see more of this type of content please hit the like button this lets me know that you enjoyed my video and as always thanks for watching